what they're announcing on CityNet? No. Well, you better come and have a look. Now. safety and security. One, a strict curfew is to be imposed effective from this evening. Two, spot checks will be carried out during daylight hours. Three, all work parties are to be increased by one full hour. Someone should turn Ebony in. She is making everyone suffer. Why doesn't she just stop? Maybe because she doesn't want to live in a police state. At least we're safe here. Are we? Ebony is just an excuse, Trudy. This is just the way Mega wants it. Everyone in the hive working to his schedule. If we stay here, slowly, inch by inch, he'll take away our freedom until we're just cogs in a machine. Maybe you misunderstood him, Amber. Maybe he wasn't trying to threaten Bray. I didn't misunderstand. Then maybe you should get out. I already tried that. What? What do you mean, when? Last night. I can't leave the safe zone. He's letting me know, Trudy, that I'm his prisoner. Me and Bray. Then what are you gonna do? The only thing I can do. It's a pretty big reward they're offering for you. Maybe we should cool it for a bit. Cool it? Why? Someone may get greedy. No. Meg is not offering enough, not for me. We don't stop. This is a siege. He's in there behind his fence thinking he's oh so safe, but he isn't. It's time to hit him where it really hurts. Somewhere that's gonna make him reconsider the size of that reward. Let's see what Meg is really prepared to pay out. It's one piece each. Let her have it. Well, look, she's hungry and we've got enough. For how long? There's more of them each day. We can't go on doing this. I know. Daryl? Here. Just what do you think you're doing? Nothing. I was simply... <laughs> Grand opening. State-of-the-art entertainment. The saloon this afternoon. It's this, uh... Don't tell me. Lex. You stay here. Help her. But... Do you want to eat tonight? Feed them. It's, uh, Nadal, Daryl. It's for Nadlin. You're not seriously gonna eat all that. Seriously, I am. I've got to keep my strength up for the work parties. Do you want some? I thought your workload hadn't been increased. Megan might change his mind. Mmm. Maybe you should tuck and go before he decides to pull out your food privileges, too. Don't want to get any slimmer than you are. You think I'm slim? 
Yeah. I mean, in a nice way. Thank you, Sammy. You're welcome. It's fruit, Sammy. You should eat lots of fruit. No, don't like that. Try that once. Have you got any ketchup? Yuck! It's pretty good, actually. Or maybe not. Hey. What are you doing? Uh, just, uh, uh, checking for something. What? What something? Infestations. What sort of infestations? The kind that get inside your skull. Right, see you then. What does she mean? What gets inside your skull? They're looking for bugs. Okay, gotta go. See ya. You mean lice? Have we got lice? No! Not lice! Please, not lice! Ugh. I want to give these puppies a test drive. Everything loaded? Of course. I don't anticipate any problems. After all, you are in the very best of hands. <laughs> so, shall we? Why not? Caesar's palace yet. These things take time, Lex. Rome wasn't built in a day. It's your lucky number. What do you mean? Simple question. Nineteen. Fix the numbers? Ah, oh, we are gonna clean up. <laughs> oh yeah. Ebony, please, let me out. What's the matter? My big sister getting all hot and bothered? I can't take it. I can't take this anymore. Yeah, well, I had to take it. Only my cage was in here, wasn't it, Javi? Maybe I should put one in your mind, too. Yeah. Only right now, we're off to see your friend, Mega, to give him a big surprise. Ebony, please. I'll do anything, anything you want. All I ever wanted from you, Java, was to be loyal. But I don't think you're any good at that, are you? I can be. You can trust me. Honestly, I've come to my senses. Maybe you have. But there's another problem. Me. <laughs> I'm still mad. But then, that's just the way you wanted me to be, isn't it? With you two. What the hell do you think you're doing in my saloon? Uh, we were gonna tell you. Oh, yeah, what, you spreading paradise to the masses now? That'll explain the amount of helmets everywhere. It's not paradise. Well, not, not, not as such. Ram will tell you. Well, it's gaming. Games for the kids, you know, the refugees. They play games inside a virtual game center. It was Lex's idea. No. No, you're not. I am not having this stuff in my bar. Wait! Listen. Those kids out there have nothing to do. Nothing. 
Soon they're going to get restless, they're going to get bored, and then there's going to be trouble. Lots of it. You don't want that in here. Just give it a chance. See how it turns out. I mean, we can always get rid of it later. You have one chance. And if I see you exploiting these kids... Ruby, would I do that? <laughs> He's tracking them down one by one. Soon he'll have them all and we'll be blind. How is he doing it? What? Amber's here. Amber, a nice surprise. All right, you've made your point. So what do you want me to do? You're free to do whatever you want to do. But naturally, I hope you'll work with me to build a future that we can all live in. We both know I've got no choice. So I'm telling you I'll cooperate, all right? Just tell me specifically what you want from me. It won't be hard. Very little. The occasional speech, a broadcast or two. Like I say, you're a figurehead. People listen to you. That's all I want them to do. Listen. And that's it? That's it. Just one thing, Amber. Your cooperation has to mean your cooperation. There can be no other agenda. I wouldn't want to find that you've been up to something behind my back. That wouldn't be good for you. Or my baby. So I take it you'll send for me when you want one of your speeches? Absolutely. Whenever we need you. Do you think she'll do it? Oh, I think so. Perhaps we don't need the bugs after all. Amber is the only Mulrat who matters anymore. Her and Jack. Now, he would be an asset to the team. Amazing, Jack. You know that? Yeah, I guess. No, I'm serious. You are. Well, Ellie, we haven't cleared this room here. There might be someone you know, watching. Yeah, I know. It's kind of exciting, isn't it? I guess it is. <laughs> oh, Jack, Ellie, hi. Do you guys know where I can get some delousing powder? You've got lice. I don't know. I don't want to know. Well, let me see. No, if, if I'm not infested, you might be. Please, do we have any powder? Sure, I'll just get some for you. Well, it's not my fault, is it? Anyone can get them, even girls. I think this should be enough. <laughs> <laughs> He says opening time. Where are you going? What? Do you seriously think I'm gonna hang around here until someone recognizes me? I don't think so. Guess it's a self-running show then. Okay, Daryl, let the punters in. Remember, uh, we accept jewels, personal valuables, even food. They uh, put their deposit in the box, we give them the equivalent value in cyber chips for the virtual casino, and they're free to find a booth. Hold it! We'll all get a place, put your payments in the box one at a time on your way in, and we'll give you credit. Remember, once you're in, you're here until close. I wonder how they'll get on without electricity. <clears throat> well, time to see. This one's from me, Mega. 
<laughs> One of the major grits is down. I'll get the reports as soon as I can. I don't need any reports. I know what's happened. Ebony. Enough is enough. We take her out now. Gal, what are you doing? 20 more seconds and into the shower and I can get it off. Get what up? What is that? I've just realized how it works. What? When you lose your soul, no one sees, no one hears. There's no crack of thunder. It just happens. Oh, hey. Sorry. This is stupid. I'm all right. I've got to see Bray. Um, you should know, both of you, that I've been to see Mega and I've told him I'm ready to cooperate. I don't believe it. Believe what you want, Jay. She had no choice. If she goes over to him, the whole city will follow. He's won. She can't do it. She can't. What do you say? Oh, now why would I want to do that? Why don't you get a share? A big, big share. share. Then why, why would, would you, you want to do, do this? this? You know, I thought I might make you a little more friendly. Not a chance, creep. Not even in reality space. Some raid. She's not back yet. We we'll leave now. Hey, what about me? Well, go on, open up. I'm sick of this rat trap. Jay, I thought you were someone who listened before judging people. Judging anyone. Yes, you are. You're judging her. What am I supposed to do? I carry no weight in the city, Trudy. Only Amber can do that. <laughs> Just never thought she'd give up. You want to know why? Do you? Mega threatened her, Jay. What do you mean? He threatened her baby if she didn't cooperate. He what? Wait, wait, what are you gonna do? See him. No, 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 you can't go like this, Jay. You have to calm down first. I've stayed calm long enough. No, Jay! Jay! Is that alcohol? What's it to you? I, I don't want any. I, I just want help, please. I hurt my hand. I'll pay you back as soon as I get back to my tribe. What tribe? The mall rats. You're allowed to do a deal with Mega. Now you're living like kings. No, that's not true.
It was Megan. He came for you, Ebony, not your sister. And he'll come again. I'll be waiting. With what? He's got the weapons you don't. And you talk too much. <laughs> That's something I've never been accused of before. Your strategy isn't working. Or is it just blind revenge? I suggest you leave, mister. Fast. If that's what you really want. But you tell me this. What would have happened if you were here today? Do you think you'd still be standing here? Or lying in the dust, like your friends? Good luck, Ebony. You're gonna need it. Tony, that's the last bug. We killed it and the whole place is clean. Yeah, well, maybe we don't want it clean. Okay, that, that's crazy. No, listen to me. If we can... What are you two looking so guilty about? We've done it, girl. Mega surveillance bugs. We got rid of them all. Surveillance bugs? Yeah, the whole place was crawling with them. But it's okay now. They won't be in anybody's hair, eh? Great! Great job, Jack. Are you nuts? Of course we want this place clean. That thing is in our room. Yeah, exactly, Jack. That's why we've got to leave it there. Think about it, Jack. With that one bug, we control the situation. Meg is only going to hear what we want him to. You're pretty amazing, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I know. Swing. Uh, May. God, what happened? Some kids didn't like the mar rats. Do you think you can get up? <sighs> ah! What happened to your hands? <laughs> God, it looks bad. <laughs> Come on. Get up, we gotta find somewhere safe. <laughs> Stop, Jay! Stop! Stop! Oh, baby, it's a threat in here, Mega. Just you and me. And that's one too many. <laughs> <laughs> 